developed by the PNA Army Logistics University, the weapons, named small synchronous induction coil guns, come with pistol size, rifle size and land robot mounted variants, according to a report by Chinese military news website JS7TV.CN last week. The coil guns are essentially miniaturized, portable electromagnetic rail guns so they can be used by single foot soldiers, the report said. To deal with complicated battlefield situations, they can also be mounted on small land robots and conduct armed reconnaissance missions. According to the performance demonstration video, the coil guns use bullets stored in reloadable magazines just like a conventional gun, and they also handle like one. The coil guns can easily penetrate multiple wood plates and thin steel plates at a relatively close distance. Unlike a conventional firearm that uses the ignition of gunpowder to push a bullet slug out of a gun barrel at high velocity, a coil gun or rail gun uses electromagnetic force to accelerate a projectile as it travels along the gun barrel before leaving it at an even higher velocity, military observers said. Judging from the video, the coil guns have shown a high penetration capability and did not make much sound, making them good choices for special operations like behind enemy line infiltration missions, a military expert who asked not to be identified told the Global Times on Sunday, June 28. It is obvious that these weapons are still in the prototype stage, as their range and impact are not optimum, very likely due to the gun's limited battery or capacitor capacity to store and release energy, the expert said. But once this technical problem is solved, the coil guns will become much more powerful and could replace the firearms of today. China is also developing full-sized electromagnetic rail guns, as one prototype has been spotted out in the open installed on a tank landing ship, reportedly for testing. The rail gun is expected to become the PLA Navy's choice for its May warship guns in the future, said military experts, who named variants for the Type 055 destroyer as potential platforms.